Just got a parcel, so we all know what that means. Um, it's from Tartan Trench. What the? Well, a bit different. Yeah, and um, this is from Tartan Trenchlers. Um, so yeah, let's see what he's done. It's perfectly packed, and it's come straight away in the morning, so always good. Um, let's see what we've got here. More for an enclosure. And we've got another enclosure inside it, that looks good. If I can get it out, one handed. So, smells funny. Anyway, it's two different enclosures. So, yeah. Um. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, there's going to be some random stuff in here because it's from Tartan Tarantulas and Stain is sent in and it's Christmas. So I dread to think what's in here. There's already some up there, so... Monster. Well, I know what that is. You don't. Chocolate's uh, on side. How many enclosures does it give me? I don't know. I'm not complaining, is it? I think there's some, yeah, that's what it is, there's T's in the actual enclosures. I get it, I get it. What is this? It is, that stinks, that. It smells like paint. It's a paint sniffer. Okay, um, so this should be one thing. So that's another. And in theory, Oh god. Only at Tartan Tarantulas. Whiskey and Viagra. Ah, put that to one side. It's actually kept the whiskey quite well. Well, something you don't get with everyone's tarantulas. Whiskey and Viagra. So, uh, some tanks. Book fast. Yeah. A bit different in it on the trench unboxing video. Okay. Well packed as always. Um, And take this off as well. You actually put on the front Connor Main on so the woman went, Oh, I did it. Something about Connor Main on I'm like, What? <sighs> yeah, I don't know stuff about pop music. All I know is he's in someone who I don't want to be. Oh, what? Is this more? Mm. Oh, no, this is cheese. So then two of T's. Um, I think I know what that is now. We're trying to work out what's what. Yeah. Now I'm confused. Because I don't remember ordering this many. I think I'm confused. Um, no, that's right. I ordered six. I think. Just double check there's no else. I doubt that there is. But just checking. Oh, God, there is. Oh, I thought that was somewhere to keep back. Fair enough. Yeah. I'll double check that in a bit, but everything that I've caught so yeah. So, yeah. Well packed as usual. Um. Now to work out what's what. what. Um, I think I know what is what, but um, I thought that was a bit bigger. But I'm crap with measurements. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm just going to set up some enclosures for all of these. Um, I don't know 
what I'm going to put in what because I don't know how big they are. Hmm. I know what I'll do. Um, I'll put them into an enclosure um, and then I'll sort out an enclosure after that. So I'll be showing you me unbox, um, taking them out and showing you that they're alive. But um, I'll show you after them in the enclosure. I won't show you me transferring them into it. I'll just show you uh, me feeding them at the end to prove that they're all good and show them in the new enclosure. So I'll be back in a sec when I've got a box to um, sort these out into. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, we'll start with the largest tub um, so I can just rehouse it and make sure I've got enough substrate for it um, already made up. So. Um, yeah, I know what this is, you don't. Um, I've just loosened the lid so it's easier for me to take it off. There's definitely a T in there. Um, now we need to try and coax it out and check if it's okay. Yep, it's definitely alive because it just twitched. Um, it shouldn't be too aggressive, so I'll just take this out of my hand. Um, still guessing what it is. I'm not going to tell you until it's fully out. All I can say is it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's not showing any aggression either. It's just sat a bit funny. But it's not showing any aggression, and I doubt it actually will. Oh, you're gorgeous. Any ideas? Well, that is an A. Calcodes adult female. And she's going to say hello. Hello! That is absolutely gorgeous. And she seems really calm. <laughs> Definitely alive. Um, nothing wrong with her there. Um, I'll just um, walk her into that tub. But yeah, um, this is an adult female, a, a, um, a calcodes. Um, absolutely slow and docile, as I expect from Amphipelmas. Showing no aggression at all. Not bothered. Absolutely gorgeous. Wanted one of these for quite a while. Very nice species. Um, and just something that's relatively calm. And it's actually really nice because um, I've seen some of them that look really scabby, but I can't say anything's wrong with this one at all. So um, I'm just going to tap into here. I actually just might leave it like this because she's not really going to run off, is she? Um, I'm just going to sort out her enclosure. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'll sort out with her enclosure and I will be back, um, I'll get my words out eventually, I'm going to sort out her enclosure and then I'll be back to check out the next one and you will see her at the end when I try and feed her, but Amphipelmas aren't the best eaters so I don't know what she's going to do on that side, so yeah, um, I'll just rehouse her and I'll be back in a second. Really chuffed with that ACAL Cody, she's not bothered about anything. She raised a bum a bit, but I can guess she's a bit stressed. Okay. I'm going to open this, and it should be what I think it is. It should be. Just a bit awkward to open. Hmm. Okay. Depending on what it is, I'm going to slowly take this off. Yep, it's what I thought it was. Can I have this please? Can I have the cotton wool? No. It's attached to its hooks, but if you don't know what, well, if you can't even guess what that is, bit obvious to be fair. That is a avicularia, um, well that's the obvious bit, but it's a, um, a prue purple. 
Yeah, it is. Because of all the two tarantulas, which was uh, the other ones, and there were which ones which now. So yeah, this is a Vicularia species Peru purple. And um, I'll be rehousing her now. She's definitely fine, um, but the hooks are just stuck on the cotton wool. I'll sort her out and put it into a closure and I'll show you better once she's in the enclosure. But yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous. And quite big, decent size. So past the danger mark. Okay. Um, move. Uh, moving on to the next one, I'll just rehouse her quick. Back a sec. Now this is the tricky part. Working out what's what. Um, I want to go with the one sticking, um, the one that I can see, because I think I know what that is. Hopefully. Hopefully. I know what it is. Well, I know what I ordered, I'm just trying to work out what's what. I had dirt on my phone. Okay. Definitely alive. Could you see? No, can't read it. So yeah. Definitely alive because it's shaking his bum. Okay. I might need two hands for this. I'll be back in a sec, I'll just take some paper out and then show you in the vial to show it's alive. Okay, back in a sec. Now, if I'm correct out of the ones I bought, because I'm colour blind so it doesn't help, the camera's not picking up on it at all. But this is a um, Cotchia Brunny Peas, I should call it K Brunny Peas because I always remember the f uh, forget the first bit. So yeah, a very, very rare species, and this is a, either a sub-adult female or an adult female, I can't, I'm not too sure, I can't remember how big they get, so, but yeah, it's really not giving it any, that's a bit better, but it's not giving it any justice, um, absolutely gorgeous species, I think it's the Cape Bunny Peeps, um, so yeah, I was going to give it a decent, really big enclosure, I think uh, one of them will be fine. Um, so yeah, I will just rehouse into one of them and we'll move on to the next one and you'll see me feed it at the end. So yeah, um, it's really not giving it any justice. Hopefully it will give it some justice when I redo it in a sec. But yeah, I'm absolutely, I'm really happy to have this because it's an absolutely gorgeous species and I've really wanted one for quite a while. Okay. Really, it's not giving it any justice. Okay, back in a sec. That was a lot easier than expected. As you can see, it's in the enclosure. You can see it a lot better now. Um, absolutely gorgeous species, but it didn't give me any trouble, to be fair, which I'm shocked about. Okay, so this one, hopefully. Is what I think it is. That's why that's there because if it's what I think it is, it will make a run for it. Probably. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna open it up and. Back in a sec, because I want two hands just to make sure if it is what I think it is. Okay, back in a sec. I think that's a Chaco sling, but I'll have to check with Stainy. I'm guessing it's a Chaco sling, because that's absolutely teeny. And it hasn't got the markings of the other thing, so... Yeah. Um, I'll rehouse that into something, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, uh, back a sec. And on to the next one. Um, I'll just show you quick. It's still chilling in the thing, so I've just done that. It can easily bear it, uh, dig itself out. And I give it a bit of room, but it can do what it wants. Um, it's its choice, okay. Don't know what this is going to be. It could be one of two things. I think I need 
two ones again. Do with one hand. Especially when you don't have a tripod because you're using a phone. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get it out so you can actually see it. Um, okay, back in a sec. Okay, that could be one of two things. I'm gonna check on the other sling after this and I'll let you know. But I think it's a grammar staller. Um, okay, now I'm gonna butcher this name. Um, An Amphoracina or something. I don't know. It's either that or an A later. But A later is a bright, bright blue. So hopefully the next sling is bright blue and that's made it easier for me. But this could also be a Chaco and the other sling you saw could be the GR Antica. So I've got to work that, that one out. Okay. Um, I'll rehouse this and I'll be back in a sec. Make a sec. Okay, if this is bright blue, this makes my job so much more easier. I've got no clue, that's tiny. <laughs> my god. Um, have a look. Yeah, that's an A later. You can't see anything, but I can. It is bright blue. Oh crap. I'm gonna put the lid on. So I'll tank for it. Okay, I'll just start a tank for it. I'll actually show you it in the tank so you can see it. But yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Good job they only run in bursts of speed. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. That is definitely an A later because have you ever seen an um a grammar stole um that coloured? No. Absolutely gorgeous, very very fast though, and I think that'll be getting crushed heads locusts because that's tiny. Okay, um, now I'm just going to tidy up a bit and I will feed all these and give my review at the end. I'm actually going to do a proper one because I always seem to get distracted and forget to do a proper review. So yeah, back in a sec, now we'll be feeding them. I thought I'd start with the larger avic. So this is a avicularia species. Oh, yeah. It's too early. Species of Peru purple. Don't know if it'll be hungry. They're a bit iffy as in general, but we shall see. I don't know if it'll eat. But yeah. Sorry about that. My mum's in the background. Um. So yeah, I think this one. Won't be hungry because a um, avics are a bit fussy eaters. I'm just gonna leave it in anyway. It's just gone round there. But yeah, you can see it a lot better than this one. That well, I'm trying to get it as best as possible. Almost. That's probably the best you're gonna get. But yeah, this is an avicularis species brew purple, and I'm just gonna give it a spray in a sec. But it's about. Six to eight centimeters, something like that. So it's past the danger zone, and yeah, very happy with that. And yeah, so that's came perfect, nothing wrong with that. And I'm just going to spray it and put it back and move on to the acalcodes because it's wandering about, so it might be hungry. Hopefully, but we shall see. And the locust is chomping on the <laughs> moss. Yeah, but I'll leave it be. Um, come perfectly fine, and we'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Okay, I won't be opening the lid because this one's very quick, and you can see I've just chucked the locust in and I've crushed the head. But literally, every time I went to open the lid, it come up and try and escape. So I can't really do it on camera. But yeah, and um, this is an Avicularia later, um, one of my favourite species of Avicularia. Um, it starts off bright blue, but then goes to a really dull brown which makes no sense but they're very pissy and I like pissy um, new worlds okay so yeah um, it's doing a tiny bit of web well it was but it's a bit spooked now so I'll leave it be um, I've sprayed the lid and by the way I sprayed the lid with that as well and um, with the brew purple as well I might throw a water ball in with that one now um, not too sure at the moment but yeah that's the vicularia later and we shall move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I'm really, really happy.
happy with this girl. As you can see, she slows out. Um, I doubt she'll eat because a cock. Is she actually webbing? I know it's not. Um, a cockodies are well, amphipelmas in general aren't very good eaters. But we shall see if she's hungry. What? Oh, she's throwing the fret posture, which is typical. Um, they're really calm and docile, but a bit mardy. The best way to put it. Um, I didn't think she was gonna eat, but yeah, I am really, really happy with this girl. She's an adult female Amphipelma calcodes, um, the desert blonde. Um, but yeah. She's. I'm just gonna leave that locust in with her. <laughs> As you can see, they are a really, really slow species. Um, not really bothered by much. But yeah, I'll leave that in with her for a bit. She might eat it because sometimes they are. Um, some of my tarantulas are actually really timid eaters. So she just could. It just. Yeah, it could just be that. So yeah, I'll leave it in with her. But I'm really chuffed with her. She's. Um, She's one of my, she's one of my favourites that I've bought, and she's gorgeous. So yeah, adult female El Calcodes, A Calcodes even. Okay, moving on to the next one. Back in a sec. Oh no, where's the K Bunny Peeps? Already dug down. I left it up so you can actually see her. Yeah, this is a K bunny peeps, quite a rare species. And this is a um adult female or sub adult female. Um, I'm not gonna get uh, in two minds to give her a water bowl, she's a bit small. Um I'll just give her a spray in one corner for now. Um but yeah, that's her. I'll chuck um I'll chuck a medium in, but she's obviously buried down, so she might grab it later. But yeah, this is probably the favourite species I bought, because these are very rare. You, you see slings every so often, but they're rare in their own sense. Never seen adult female for sale, ever. So I'm real happy with this, and I've got to say thank you to Stainy. So yeah, very grateful for this one. Very happy with it. So I'll just spray one corner and chuck a locust in because I know she's not going to grab it because she's obviously in one corner. So it doesn't look like anyone's going to eat. But if I'm honest, they've travelled a long way and it's cold, so I'm just chucking the food in and I might go and get it later. Um, I might do an update video after this to tell you if anyone ate, like tomorrow or something. So yeah, we shall leave them all be and I'll move on. Well, um, I'm going to leave it about an hour because I don't know which sling is which, so I want to actually show you which one is which, and yeah, so the two grammar stolers will be after this, and I need to work out which one's which, so, um, I'll be back in a sec, but for you, well, I'll be back in a sec for you, but it'll probably be back an hour for me, so yeah, back in a sec. This is about half an hour after I just got the um, one that are in the vial out. Um, the one with two like dots in the corner, that's the suspected grammar stola um, or antica. It hasn't gone for the locust yet, but I've only just put it in. And um, the one with four dots is the suspect um, Chaco. I think it might be a Chaco because um, the abdomen on that one hasn't got the little mark in as much. Um, as that one, and my Chaco used to look like that, so I think that might be the Chaco. So, yeah, that's a suspect Chaco. They both got food in, it's both alive, but um, they can take it down. Cause if you look, that's the same size as that. And if you look at that as well, that's the same size as that. If you don't eat it within an hour, um, I'll take it out, but yeah, that's pretty much them all. Um, so just an overview, um, a cow code is just, an, I'm just going to have a drink, um, I did put a water bowl in with a um, K bunny peeps, um, I doubt it'll drown, plus I've only filled it up halfway and it's a tiny, tiny bowl, um, a later, um, a vicularia species pro purple that got water bowl as well, but it's only like half filled up as well and it's on a slant. <laughs> it wouldn't. It would not straighten out. So I just left it like that. Um, okay, this is a suspected GR and um, Arancina. Is he saying Arantica? 
Francine, um, Anne Francina or whatever. Yeah, and that's a suspected Chaco. But yeah, so I think that's the Chaco. But that's actually quite confident for a Chaco because all mine does is bury its sand. So yeah, um, the Chaco isn't mine, by the way. The Chaco is um, for my best friend. Um, but yeah, just got all them in there. But yeah, um, a quick. Um, I'll just do a review. Um, really chuffed about the cable and the peeps. So I've got to say thank you to Stainy for that because it's just amazing. And the I've got to say thank you for him for the Chaco. And I want to say thank you for the later. Um, so yeah, well, thank you for them all. If I'm honest, um, and the shock of it was the Acar Cody. She's absolutely gorgeous. I was shocked about her. Um, so yeah, I'm just heading to bed. I'm very happy with that. Um, so yeah, this is Stainy um, Stainy Wid, or um, his company is called Tartan Tranchlers. Um, I have had a Nandu Chromatis off them before and that came perfectly fine and all I can say is if you're not if you get tarantulas in the UK and you don't know about them you're missing out because his prices are amazing um, his deals are amazing like he does deals as well he's always um, putting them new stock like for the new year he's getting in like Panther BTS Ecuador too. These are all captive bred, and these what I got are all captive bred. He's getting like Panther BTS species Ecuador two, which you never see captive bred. I've seen wild caught, but I've never seen captive bred. He's getting Vicularia loss, whatever I think he is. I can't remember. He's getting a lot. Okay, basically he's getting a lot of Avix in. He's getting a ton of Panthos. He's getting in. Um, Brachypelma Bungarta tonight. He's getting some right tarantulas. And all like at really good prices. Also getting the Lassidora. Oh, I can't remember what it is, but it's an absolutely gorgeous species. Definitely gonna look into that because I love Lassidoras. Um, but yeah, he's getting some right good stock in. So if you're missing out, if I'm honest. So yeah, perfect packing as always, and some Saki gifts. And I'm not complaining because he's a sound guy, and. Honestly, you need to get over there. They are it's probably one of the best companies and it's is just getting bigger as it goes. Um but one thing I can say, be patient. It's just stainy. That's uh, there's just one person doing the whole thing and you get so many orders. So if it's a bit slow with the order, just be patient because it's worth it. The price is worth it. His customer service is perfect. Like is all it's just like perfect. Fair enough, he might take a bit long. Uh, like especially at Christmas, he might he's gonna take a bit longer because he's got that many orders to sort out, and it's just him doing it. So you gotta cut cut the guy some slack at times. But yeah, all I can say is I can't advise him enough. I will be putting them in the description. But yeah, perfect packaging. This was I think this he sent this at about four yesterday, and it came at nine o'clock this morning. So next day delivery, pretty much all the time unless. Um, post office has been dodgy and I live um, in the UK he's based in Scotland so perfect oh and by the way nearly all of his prices include post and packaging so you just can't complain his prices are perfect so yeah before I start arse well I've, I'm, before, I'll just stop arse looking now <laughs> Uh, I don't. I, I'm not meaning it. It's just if you understood his prices and what he gets in and how nice the guy is, you'd understand. Yeah, I'm. I, it sounds like I'm arse lick it, but I'm not. But I suppose you've got to arse lick a bit for a K bunny peeps. But yeah, um, cheers, Stainy. That's all I can say, especially for the K bunny peeps. And um, I'm just shocked about her. She's absolutely gorgeous. Bit shy, but nah, not complaining. Gorgeous species. But yeah, absolutely over the moon about this. So yeah, Tartan Tarantulas. Um, I will be posting a link in the description. Just go over there, you need to. It will be posting all his stuff in the new year. And as I said, absolutely tons of good stock. So yeah, um, before this video gets even longer, I'm going to cut it off. Um, so yeah, I'll give an update in about a day if they um, when they've ate or if they ate. And I'll take them out if not. Just checking these out. Oh, the G 
Orphan scene or whatever, eight. And let's have a look. Now the Chaco on eight. Well, the suspect Chaco. So, yeah, that's eight. So, one of them's already eight. Good start. Okay. See the bet, people. Bye.